Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. The comedian talk show host Jimmy Kimmel actually pitched his own idea called Horse Pants. This is one of the funniest pitches that the Shark Tank has probably ever seen. Alright, check out this complete downhill spiral of a pitch. Every animal there was naked. <laughs> but naked. I was uncomfortable. And I'm sure the animals were uncomfortable too. They're comfortable, fashionable, and business casual. Appropriate for the track or the barn. <laughs> Guillermo and I are looking for $500,000 for a 10% stake in our company. These are horses that are currently wearing pants. None. <laughs> These are horses that could be wearing pants, all of them. And pants. Here's my concern. You have zero market share. How are you going to grow this business? Do you have a plan? We're gonna pass on that question. <laughs> Jimmy, I think you ought to take this one out behind the barn and shoot it. I'm out. Whoa. The Sullivan Generator is a conceptual machine by the inventor Mark Sullivan. When he went to Shark Tank, he asked for a $1 million for a 10% equity in his idea, but failed to make the impression that he was hoping for. He claimed that a generator, if built machine, would use a steam vortex powered by the rotation of the Earth and use this controlled hurricane to turn the turbines that will produce electricity. What about the other 999 inventions? Did you ever make any money with those? My inventions are making over a billion dollars per year. <laughs> I want to know what you sew. Leather, and I sew ladies' skirts, and vests, and handbags. <laughs> <laughs> Already, an idea like this is starting to sound like a lot of BS. However, it just gets even worse. He says that apart from making clean water as a byproduct, it will also release mineral deposits, including gold. The reason as to why extracting gold from the ocean is so unrealistic is that there's an estimated 10 to 30 parts per quadrillion, so you need a filter and an incredibly large amount of water. In addition to this, the ocean is full of many other minerals that are in higher concentration because, let's say, if this theoretical machine actually works, all of the salt that would be collected would be worth way more than the gold. We have the very first pitch ever made at the Shark Tank. This is probably one of the creepiest pitches that were ever made. During this time, Bluetooth earpieces were an emerging market, so it was a good idea to make business off of them. However, to this guy's Bluetooth idea was that you would have to surgically implant the Bluetooth chip inside of your ears. The Bluetooth device will become dislodged. I'm sorry, where are you implanting this into, a, into another device? What are you implanting this no, into? No, it's actually going into your ear. I love it. He wasn't alone. The, the surgery location? This is, this is surgery. You would be under anesthesia. <laughs> God. And not only that, every night when you go to sleep to charge it, you have to stick a long needle in your ear, and this idea is simply impossible to sell, as no one on Earth would be crazy enough to use this. Now, obviously the shark said no. Entrepreneur and professional stick figure cat artist Steve Gadlin had a dream to bring custom cat art to every home. This guy came on the show expecting to get a deal for just drawing stick figures. <laughs> I want to draw a cat for you. 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 Now, by now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did this idiot make his way into the shark tank? Well, let me tell you, there is an economy for stupid, and I am overflowing with it. Now, you might be thinking, of course he didn't get any deal and he was just ready to go on the tank. However, you'd be really surprised because billionaire Mark Cuban put up $25,000 for a 33% stake in the company. All these drawings Every single one. on the website. Yeah, and then they share them with their friends, and then their friends come and they purchase cat drawings to outdo one another. Um, and there are some people who take this very seriously. You draw these yourself? I draw these myself. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.